hi i'm dr leo welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to gist you about how no oil, no butters destroyed my hair i had to cut my hair i didn't know what it was i just kept trimming and trimming and trimming oh my god oh my god like anytime i think about like my hair could have been so much longer now but because of no oils no butters you know trying to do it my hair got thin my hair got damaged, I had to cut it off, I kept trimming and trimming and lost so much length. So in this video, I'm going to be gisting you about um how I went about it and what happened. So first of all, I just wanted to let you know that um it's my fault. It's not the oil and butter movement's fault, I think, because I didn't do my research. I just saw no oils, no butter, and people are not using oils and butters every day. So I stopped pre I stopped sealing in moisture i stop everything oil all i would do is wash my hair deep condition no pre which was a very bad idea no pre wash deep condition then i'll go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner without sealing in with oil and go ahead and style my hair now i'm sure that's not the whole the way the thing goes the no oil no butters but i'm going to do my research on it but after i started doing all those things you know avoiding oil i'll find out that uh, my hair is getting thin what is happening my hair is dry what is happening my hair feels rough to touch like my hair felt like sandpaper it was so bad and i was so disheartened that i'm doing everything right i'm using the right product what is wrong with my hair i started to notice that my hair started swelling up like literally swelling up my hair was just bulging out like felt rough bulging fat like and now i'm just trying to think it was because my cuticles were open and i didn't seal in moisture with oil so it didn't close back so my hair just kept breaking i used to see little hairs on the floor me that each time you know i'm kind of obsessed with the hair that comes out of my head the hair that falls off so usually i'll check and see you see that white bulb and i'll do like three strands out of a few hundred strands and i'll see that okay it's normal it's shedding but now i began to see little little hairs on the floor just coiling like it would be plenty on the floor anytime i touch my hair i was like what's happening i was so sad until recently until recently i was like let me google hair swelling i now went online i was searching 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 everywhere i'll google my hair is swelling hair feels rough at the ends knots and tangles yes i had enough knots and tangles back then like i had to be sniffing off sniffing off sniffing off oh my god until i stumbled on one website where the person was like um she feels her hair is swelling and it's rough and everything and it was like a what do you call this thing a a forum i think it's naturally curly so one woman uh commented she was like yes that she used to she used to experience or she experiences that and all she has to do is use her oil to seal in moisture and it goes back to normal and that was how i started to use oils again and even before that the people i never used to people before you know i stopped but i started doing people again because i did it one day i was like okay let me just try it and my hair was feeling so 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 good but i was not selling any moisture by then so when i now saw this um uh, website when I saw the forum on natural okay, so I was looking through the forum and I saw one woman woman I said women one woman commented that oh I, that thing used to happen or that thing is happening to me but all I have to do is that after I finish washing my hair after I finish moisturizing I make sure I seal with an oil I was not like ah when last did I seal my moisturizing with oil then I took my bottle of oil and then I had finished as an uh, incidentally I just finished moisturizing I just applied the leave-in conditioner then I now applied the oil. My hair felt wonderful. <laughs> oh my goodness! My hair felt smooth, silky, like not breaking. Like I've noticed my hair is not breaking anymore. I don't have knots, I don't have tangles. My hair is thriving, my hair is getting fuller. Hey, that is it though. That was how I was able to revive my hair. My hair is doing so well. Hardly any breakage, hardly any rough ends, hardly any knots and tangles. It's growing, it's thriving. I'm just imagine if I hadn't started that no oil, no butter with no information, like 
I like I told you, I'm to blame. I'm not blaming anybody. I didn't know. I don't know. I heard you can't have oils in the first four ingredients. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't do right. I didn't do my hair any justice by just jumping on the bad bandwagon without understanding what it was all about. So that is my horror story. So have you ever tried no oils, no butter? Like, are you on that regimen? How does your hair feel? How does it feel? Like, is it breaking? Is it thriving? Is it? I, is it def just let me know in the comment section i am so glad now that i've discovered what my hair loves my hair loves oils and heavy 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 creams heavy butters don't forget that you can shop my products dr lee naturals on instagram these are my products i have a growth oil and i have a hair cream breakage shedding too much shedding bald edges thin hair it works for all those things um the link for my the link to my store is in the description box you know if you want to look around and see if you want to buy anything thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and i'll see you in the next video bye